Onisha does have his comfort pick on TA. I'm not sure he wish he had. All the lanes exchanging a lot of damage right now. Even mid's been pretty bloody. Nisha had to salve up and now up top, some big damage. Onto Epileptic Kid, the blind from the troll, helping to sustain. And now maybe the turn play onto Zai. That Thunderstrike does a lot of damage. Kinetic Field locking him in. Zai, two more auto attacks, and I think they've got it. There's one. There's two. Epileptic Kid turns it around to find the first blood. Oh, the rune's bottom. Nisha's gonna head top. Gonna eat some damage for it too. Oh, mid lane oh. though. Oh, GBK. Refraction. GBK, he's stuck. He's trying to find a path. He doesn't have it. Oh, Nisha finds him on the low ground. Oh, man. At least he lane. doesn't have a bottler in his TA in that situation. Puts it towards the bounties now though. His save wants to uh, pressure the river rune. But Puppy's gonna run him out. Looks like it's gonna be three runes for Secret, most likely. Puppy picks it up. Could end up paying with his life, though. Kinetic Field locks him down, drops the stun as Zai comes in, blinded for another second or so. Looking for the counter kill on the save as Puppy's already fallen. But now Epileptic Kid with the slow. There's the sleep. Zai on the run. It's only a level one stomp, but it'll be enough to ensure his survival. Oh my. Meanwhile, the bottom lane's just been a bit of a snoozer. Another stun hits. It's just uh, Void versus Mag. We got like, what, no kills or anything down here, right? It's just chilling. Nope. And back up top, Puppy again. The Stomp comes out, but Epileptic Kid, he's got the blind. He'll stand his ground, and now it's Zai on the run again. Whirling Axes. That'll be a glimpse. I think this is going to be a double for this Troll Warlord. Zai not going to have the damage. Five to three now, Epileptic Kid. And he'll kind of fall more into the auras and smaller farming items and give him a space to Lil or save. Set up down bottom, Lil with the disruption walks right past Yaxor. RP, plenty of damage from GPK. Matu dead again. Nice clean kill. And it's short lived. Smoke rotation now from the two supports. Save and Lil. They're on the way. Glimpse onto Puppy. Nice setup. They'll need a little more damage, though. Same thing bottom, though. They, they just did the jump to Chrono for me. Piece of cake, right? It was Chrono into uh, Sky Alt. Wasn't too exciting. Yeah, just thank you for the picture in picture there. Dota Pit is now safe. Goes down on top to Zai. That'll be two kills now for Secret, and they're going to reinforce. They want more. Lil going to get left behind. He'll get silenced, stomped, stunned, everything under the sun. Three kills now for Secret. As they move, this is all five Virtus Pro Prodigy. So Zai, I gotta feed his courier to distract him. That's that's good. That'll work pretty well. That's his uh, ogre axe. First piece of his agonims. Nisha has the blink here. They're coming in. They want DM, and he was not ready for that. Silenced up, and then initiated on. Now on the other side, looking for another catch, perhaps. It's Puppy leading the charge. Will gonna make it back, but save. He's gonna be caught. And that'll be too dead for Virtus Pro Prodigy. They do get the objective that they came for in that tier one tower, but about like, you know, trying to take uh, a lead in this game and then uh, trying to like push their advantage and everything. They also do have mag trolls. So in some ways, like waiting to farm things out isn't that terrifying. In some ways, but we'll see initiation on the puppy. It looks like they do want to fight, and they will get the Vengeful Spirit. Nisha, though, on the low ground. It's a great Chrono on three. Skyrack and Angel comes in, but Nisha gets stuck inside of the Chrono. Now the yeah. he catches him, and this is the Prodigy's fight. They found three. Zai on the run. He might live, but it's a bit of a disaster. They lose all these supports. Great skewer. Perfect placement. Now Epileptic Kid, feeling a little more confident, walks right into him. Manta style, that saves him for now. Pops the ulti, going in on the puppy. Disruption. And Epileptic oh, Kid man. still falls to Zai. Nice stomp. Okay, that was a little bold from Epileptic Kid, though. Lil now. Glimpse not going to be enough to save him, so that'll be two kills going the way of Secret. <laughs> Let's, let's you see a little bit of uh, some personality, you know? Just like, what were you doing, dude? That's a small camp. Was that worth it? You got one ghost, I think. Looks back. Misha, can they actually find this kill? The fraction's done. They've got the Laguna. Swap, though, from Puppy. That might be enough to save him. Yeah, that brings back. back. Ball. Uh, like that, um, that last Chrono fight, when it all started, the very first the fight uh, in the middle of the map and then give up Roche, kind of thought that was going to be uh, solid for them to control. Now, Nisha, looking like Epileptic Kid all alone here in enemy territory. TP out. Makes glimpse. it. Oh, the glimpse. And now the Static Storm, Nisha going to be caught in deep. 
Nice All right, punishment. we trade our big heroes back and forth. Just trying to farm up some neutral. Smoke up though. Oh, well, I guess he, he will though now because he'll have magic immunity. Right? I'm, I'm not sure, sure how that would dispel void. Oh, he's got BKB. RP cuts through it. But Matumba Man gonna survive, and now Vertis Pro Prodigy looks to retreat. He drops the Chrono, only hits one, and the disruption saves him. Epileptic Kid now in the back line, saved, getting isolated by Matu, and he's the first casualty. Yule Scepter, Matu needs to be a little careful, but he does survive. They're pulling the troll deep into No Man's Land. He still catches Yapsor, but that ult about to expire, that's Aegis. Past the tier two now, Vertis Pro Prodigy trying to save the troll, but they don't want to go too deep. Buyback from Yapsor, they really want to punish this. Swap onto Epile Epileptic Kid, Manta style. He might actually live here. Zai on the low ground looking for another. Puppy with another aggro swap, does toss his life, but now they've closed the gap. Epileptic Kid goes for the TP, ambitious as they punish it. Bash onto Lil, that'll stop his also. And Secret do get a couple of these cleanup kills. And only one buyback, right? Just the Absor, I think? Just the Absor. Right, moving, you. Nisha's farming. Roche now down below, 1,000 HP. Aegis Cheese, they're gonna get it. Nisha flicks back defensively, and Virtus for all Prodigy get away with this. Oh, Bandit's in the night. Actually sneak it. And Save's looking for the glimpse, he got one. Where's Poppy? Need a little more. Yapsor. Oh, Poppy's warning on the radiant two side. <laughs> Matsu going into back line, but Yapsor is dead. Matsu gets a nice chrono on two. Shadow Demon gonna be the first to fall. Zion on the outside. Earth Splitter hits DM. Does get off the RP, but not much follow-up. GBK does have cheese. They get save, and it's a bad fight for Virtus Pro Prodigy. The two Roach Foils left. One of them eaten now, and three buybacks burned. They want to try to turn this fight. Nisha, BKB on the run. Good spot from Puppy. Stops the troll. They pulled them way back here from the battle trance. They have the outpost. They're TPing in, but they can't catch Nisha. They might just get Puppy with these buybacks. Yeah, it looks like it. Drops the magic missile, and he'll stick around as the TA or TP's home. So a huge win for Secret there. Three. Dude, but he'll just force the BKB. All right, fair enough. Time is money. Worth it a gift from the okay, he's got the MKB and 2,000 gold. Nothing in quick buy. Uh oh, puppy though. They find him. Matu. Nope, that was Zai looking for the stomp, and there's no saving puppy here. That's the nine second BK death ball at this stage. Should be able to punish really hard, but. Secret not falling for it, doing a really good job not giving away too many unnecessary kills. Matu smoked up. They are going to find this Magnus mid and DM completely solo. Does have Guardian Greaves though, that buys him a little bit of time. Now Epileptic Kid is coming. RP does set up onto the void, but they're a bit too scattered. And Virtus Pro Prodigy, they back out. It's Void that goes in, he catches two in the background. He does get Will. DM's already dead, and now save falls. It's just the two big cores again. The void takes Laguna, but time walk to the high ground. BKB from Nisha, now swap from Puppy. They're gonna try to bring down Epileptic Kid. Puppy survives oh, for now, has that Ghost Scepter. He has ult and Aegis. That's Aegis first, still has Battle Trance, but is there any hope for the troll to live here? Stomp comes a little bit too early and he dies even without the Battle Trance. <laughs> no buybacks available on these four heroes. Where are we going with this smoke? They've got RP, there's no Chrono for 30, so something to capitalize on here. Save is way in there. Matsu jumps in, he's gonna get solo RP, skewered back, follow up from the troll, and off to the side, they do kill save. They don't have the damage for, to kill Matumba Man, he lives, and now they turn on to DM. Disastrous fight for Virtus Pro Prodigy, the troll in big trouble again. He has to BKB defensively, still has the battle trance, but doesn't want to stay, he just wants to run. GPK in a follow suit, pops his BKB defensively, but still gets clicked down. Matu now has the Chrono Sphere coming back, and they're gonna be able to take this four for nil fight without even using the chrono. That is devastating. For another minute, that's the Magnus, Disruptor, and Shadow Demon. But mostly a financial issue right now. Tier three goes down, Matu jumps in. There's the Static Storm. Matu needs to be a little careful, gets off his BKB, chrono, perfectly placed, Nisha on the outside, and GG gets called before the fight even ends. With Epileptic Kid down, they know they can't take it. And Secret will secure a victory here in game number one of this best of five grand final. In some ways, the Verdes Pro Prodigy was... Yeah. 
So some South American Dota. Waits until the courier shows up and then he just commits. He was doing it with DK. He killed like two couriers with position four DK two days ago. Yeah. How? I don't know. A lot of damage now. TP in from the Willow. Epileptic Kid, he'll be pushed back. Yapsor getting low in the tree line. They need some vision though. Will not able to hit him with that Shadow Realm extra damage. Now he'll try to TP, but it won't work. First blood for Epileptic Kid. <laughs> That's a good rotation. It's like he's killing. Secret once again coming out of the gate swinging. Yeah, they picked it up for Nisha, so he knows it's their first bottle. As they will Bottle finally lane. try and punish Zai. Puppies here, though. They might turn it around. The Void's silenced. Able to jump back with Arcane Curse. Cog oh, no. stop Lil's TP. And they're going to get a counter kill the other way. Zai not only lives, but finds himself with a plus. He's been jungling a lot, too. On GPK. Ah, there you go. And uh, Nisha also stole some of his jungle camps. So, <laughs> numerous okay. things not going his way. There you go. Puppy, bashed up by Epileptic Kid, but Frostbite, he does have a time walk. Puppy tries to sidestep it. Nisha has the decrap. Puppy's actually gonna live for a second, but does bait the Void into a death to the mid laner. Yeah, I think we can call that one worth there, uh, as they will grab save up top as well. And that'll be uh, Puppy. It feels like just a counter pick against the void. Now, man, we're going to see same level three and evaporate under the Pugna. Now, Nisha takes a Viper Strike, Cursed Crown. Going to be pushed back, but okay for now. GPK isolated in the cogs next to Yapsor, but light on damage for Secret. Now, Zai makes the rotation, still has Global. No, but they know they're a little bit behind, and Yapsor doesn't have the hook shot yet. It's like their best chance to actually take this. Oh, it's too many heroes, the, though. There's the Global, though. They're going to be able to kill Mars. Void still, be, still might be able to get away. No, TP down for 10. Good Chrono does connect onto two, but these Arcane Curse slows keep resetting. Ah, oh, they're not gonna get him, I don't think. There's reinforcements now, GPK's here. No, Void dies, whoa, stuck in the cogs and evaporates to the Pugna. And now Viper's gonna get left behind. This is such a disastrous fight for Virtus Pro Prodigy. It comes last, or uh, AOE, that's what you get. This one's been oh. changed a lot, guys. Yes, it has. Oh, fight up top, though. Mars Arena comes down. Good fear from the Willow. This is a cool combo. You can see. Stop punching yourself, puppy. Coming in. That was a perfect display of Terrorize into Arena. Unfortunately, they're only getting a Crystal Maid. Uh, GPK's here. He is trying to sustain, but now interrupted. It'll be too much damage. Nice. Uh, that can change to this. Seems pretty good though. Yeah, it's. I mean, it used to be when you. Well, when I first started playing, it was you would cast global and it would curse everyone. Uh, and yeah. then they did it with the glaze. But nice hook on the two here from the Absor. Save in big trouble. The Mars also going down quickly. The global preventing any kind of counterplay. Puppy with a big ultimate. One TP out. And now the fear on the Lil interrupts his fear and keeps Puppy safe. That's a three for nil. In Glimmer on Puppy. Middle tower is uh, and then they have to worry about blink yules on Nisha. That part's gonna be annoying as save is just playing the vanguard here for DM. It doesn't even work though. They're gonna get him God. and the bodyguard. Great. Oh, but wait from the Absor. TP out. There's a Yule Scepter. They've still got him. This is gonna be an easy two for nil. <laughs> Rough stuff for Virtus Pro Prodigy. Yeah, not epileptic. Playing. He's gonna start lurking. Look, he's war a huge amount of pressure on the die right now. Though they do still have the Aegis for another 50 seconds, and might try to make use of that. You know, if they manage to throw a high ground push, though, we could find another game where Puppy finds a heart. You know? Hey, that's true. He's getting some, some decent gold. He's got the Philosopher's Stone. Get this man a heart. Oh, hook shot. Close range. Connects on two. Follow up. Global. They're not gonna have enough damage to kill the Void, but the bear is here. They need another silence. Dual Scepter as DM jumps in. Very nice ultimate. Anisha stunned up and he'll fall. First casualty of this fight. Now the turn on to DM. Saves already fallen, and they will make it a one for two. It's even better when you're winning. I say those things give a pretty big bounty. That's recovery gold, man. It's probably worth more than saves life. That's uh that's Willow's blink dagger right there. Chrono does connect on the Matsu. Do they have the damage to make this work? Definitely not. Pugged on the outside, heals him up as GPK gets turned on. Now Void has to run defensively. Save is going to stand his ground and fall. A two for nil, but it was Virtus Pro that were the aggressors. And now that Chrono's on cool, connect on the Zai. No 
follow up though. Save, walks in, has to walk out immediately. Bear pressing forward, nice fear. DM, hook shotted, low. Puppy jumps in and actually gets the freeze on to save with a nice ulti. DM and save both buy back as the global flies. And Puppy TP's home. Now I have some more valuable though. Out. Nice spear. Spear from the Willow will stop Nisha from any kind of save. And Zai, no force stack. Another 15 seconds on cooldown, but a great savage roar. Oh, they got him. The spear. It's a nice spear, and now Zai's going to be stuck. The yep, epileptic gets on and pops the Mask of Madness, and he's going down. So a little punishment. They get the... All right. This is kind of awkward. Virtus Pro Prodigy hesitating. DM uses the Glimmer Cape to try and initiate. They see Matsu. There's the arena. They hit him with a spear, but he's so tanky. He's already gotten off the true form. And instead, the Bears is going to lay into him. Global Silence says the hook shot comes in from Yapsor. Cogs on two, and he'll force staff out. K now stuck a bit far forward. Puppy loses his ultimate, but the first casualty of war will be GPK. And now they're going to find the Mars. I don't think DM's surviving this one. Doesn't even have enough manta, or enough mana rather, to use that glimmer cape. Two cores dead, no buyback. Oh, and then they are gonna push. There it is, El Doge. She's got the DD. They're gonna find one here. It is Puppy. They dust him up through the glimmer cape. First I'm round. Okay, I'm taking your base. Yeah, we'll call that bait. Yeah. No radiant glyph, and top barracks evaporate under the double damage. Meanwhile, back mid. Yapsor still playing with Virtus Pro Prodigy. Save on the run. He's going to get bursted down again. And now GPK, he's also going to be in big trouble. There is just no fight here for Virtus Pro Prodigy. That's two sidelined again. They've already used. Uh, that was the puppy buyback. There's just no damage. Way up here, he's an arachnid. I mean, let's at least use one Chrono. There's the BKB. He gets stunned. Epileptic Kid has the time walk defensively. I think you're right. I don't think the Chrono changes that much, but it's still a shame to see a team with a faceless boy not be able to use Chrono Sphere to do anything throughout the entire mid game. Did he cast two defensive Chronos? I think so. Like, like every time they one... tried to smoke and use Chrono, it looked too dicey, and they would just back up, or somebody would get caught. Melee heroes. Oh, he does okay, but I mean, it used to be like, like, what does she do when he throws down the blood rate? You know, like the AoE is just so huge for that mid lane. They walk awesome. right up into Virtus Pro Prodigy. Yep, arrow does Secret come in, connects, blood right, DM. He's gonna tank this and sacrifice himself. Everyone else run. And Zai will get the first blood. That is a little scary. Mid laner getting that bonus go already. Sandor, because it's so broken, or did they just want to put the Mud King into the drought because that's the more punishing hero? Now, either way, Nietzsche was good, I think. I think the latter, but yeah, Secret have the options here. Now the Jigu Mastery comes out and GPK is in big trouble. Nowhere to go in the trees. The battery assaults more than enough. And Yapsor, fine. Ah, so we heard you came back to the lane there, bud. I brought an Alpha Wolf this time. Oh, hey there, Captain. Or is it Admiral? I've forgotten. Either way, you're going home. I think he's demoted. The prize is mine. Excellent. Easy Find kill the naval for rankings. Radiance Middle Tower is under Has to basically avoid the Bloodseeker right now because uh, knows that Rupture is available. Yapsor bumps in to save. Three on one, but Zai's coming in. Yapsor probably going to go down. First kill of the game in favor of Virtus Pro Prodigy. Now Zai on the run. Arrow, sidestep. Does hit Puppy, though. <laughs> He's like, wait, what? There's the rupture. It does come out on GPK. But Zai trying to chase down save. One more. Two more. There it is. Finds that kill. GPK no longer ruptured. But all this time, Puppy just focused the tower. And that tier one does die in seven minutes. Uh oh, air. Big one. Clockwork now has hook shot. He's thinking about force staff again. And they'll probably wait for this blade mail on Zai. Um... Now Luna moving into the Ancients, though. Got a nice double stack here. Nisha surrounded here. Whoa, yeah, deep in enemy territory. Arrow follows up, and now I think they can. Starstorm's there, and they've got it. Yeah, unfortunately, no streak or anything. As uh, they'll TP to the outpost, as they're perhaps worried that there's uh, an incursion coming.
Nope, no smoke. Well, they do have one on the enchantress. They were thinking about a smoke, but it's secret that start this fight. Nisha jumps straight in. Yeah, throws the hook shot off the side. They do kill Puppy, but GPK also gets juiced, and now the Kunk get totally surrounded, also goes down. Bramble spray forward. Now on to save as DM dies on the back line to Matu. This is shaping up to be a one for four trade. Lil, the only survivor, is he was able to hop away on the Marana. It's like the Venge game all over again, where they just they feel compelled. It's not a lot of fun getting blasted by Team Secret, uh, because it, it's hard to really... Like, sure, maybe you'll learn something about the first five minutes, but then the rest of it just feels like pain. Yep. Yeah, Lil, leaping all around, still not gonna live. DM does not have the ulti, now he's gonna be ruptured on the run. Zai will continue to chase. Light on detection for Team Secret, there is dust on the clockwork. They still find the Underlord, and that'll be another two for nil favoring Secret. It's just not fair. It's just not fair, Trent. <laughs> That's a demotion. He's a captain. Yules, arrow. Ooh, intercepted by Yapsor. Wow. The self four staff save. Get down, Mr. President. And then the hook shot. They're going to turn it. Saves down. Nisha jumps in onto the side. The boat comes through. So it's actually alive. The GPK is on the edge. The all heal from Chen tops him back off as DM goes down and they continue to chase. Epileptic Kid will be left behind now. And no hope for survival. Yet another fight that goes three for nil in favor of Secret. This time the drow lives. Oh, the hill troll priest. He was so young. Try to keep the alpha low. Underlord trying to load. The double rupture comes out. Matu right clicking away. Barracks falling. I don't know, Trent. A 420 dream could still be real. Nisha's ready for this big ulti. GPK in the front line. Here comes the boat. It is going to connect on two. But the Monkey King ult in the back line. Drow's already dead. There's your 420 as it short lift. Save falls just after as they dark rift back. Team Secret, ladies and gentlemen. They are just too good right now in this region. We need some international Dota back so we can test them on the international scale. How will Secret match up against the finest in China? Clearly everyone else in uh, Europe just needs some more uh, sparring partners or something too, right? They need some fresh ideas. Yeah. An impressive reign of dominance, and it will not end here. Another perfect streak wrapping up this finals. Three games, three wins. Possibly the final fight now as Yapsor goes in. They'll kill Epileptic Kid one final time as they get up towards the fountain. And the throne falls. GG, well played. Well, congratulations to Secret for another flawless victory. Unreal. I mean, are they the hate?